Hello and welcome to this WP Zoom video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the portfolio feature on the presence theme. You can see this in action here. Um, we've got a, a demo music site here. You see, we can click through to various portfolio items. We've got an album here. And on the music site, um, there's some audio player, Spotify embed, buttons for Amazon iTunes, Spotify. It's similar for um, this portfolio version for agencies. So we've just got some web design work here. And again, you'll see we can click through to each of these um, to find more details about the project. And finally, um, in a construction or business uh, portfolio, we've got a similar kind of thing, um, portfolio items, and you can click through onto each of these in order to see how they work. So that's what we're going to be doing. And um, you can start by heading over to your WordPress dashboard. So here I've got presence installed on my site already. Um, I'm using a music site here. And if you haven't got this installed already, you'll want to watch the video tutorials available um, at the presence documentation. You can find these either on wpzoom.com or if you just go to wpzoom and then getting started, then if you press this link to the presence documentation, you're going to find um, all these details as well as um, a couple of extra videos here, which will show you how to get it set up with the theme. So you want to do that first, um, but once you've done that and perhaps added some content or the demo content, we can get ready to add in the um, portfolio feature. So doing this is pretty straightforward. You want to go to Jetpack and then settings. Um, obviously, you'll need the Jetpack plugin installed, which is covered in those earlier videos. You then want to head to the Writing tab here. Scroll down to find Custom Content Types. Activate this, and then expand, and make sure Enable Portfolio Projects for this site is ticked. Save those settings, and if we head back to our WordPress dashboard, we're now going to find that on the left-hand side, we've got this extra um, menu item added, which is for portfolios. Here, if we click through to this, we're going to see because I've imported the demo content, I've already got a couple of portfolio items here. Um, but you can now go ahead and add new portfolio items in order to add these in. You'll find this is similar to the rest of WordPress for adding content. So you can add in a title, add your content here, as well as any media. You can add a project type. So this is a category effectively and a tag. You want to add a featured image if you'd like to do so. So here you can see I've got three of these projects added. And for this music site, um, is it just going to be three albums? So we next want to set up the portfolio page. And doing this is also straightforward. So you need to go to Pages and then Add New. And then create a new page with the title Portfolio. So just type in Portfolio here. But once this auto saves, you just need to change the slug or the permalink here to um, something other than portfolio as that is reserved by the Jetpack plugin. So I might just pull this portfolio dash archive. You then want to select the page template as um, portfolio brackets Jetpack. You can leave the content blank and then publish onto your site. You're now going to see once that's published, if you head to that page, it's going to be the um, portfolio page as you'll find for the demo content of the theme at wpzoom.com. So now we can see we've got this nice um, portfolio and um, we can organize by the different categories that we've set and click through to any of these portfolio items. So that's looking really nice on our site. If you do want to customize this page, then you can do so by heading to WP Zoom and then theme options. And then from there, if you head over to the portfolio tab, once this loads up, so select portfolio. Here you're going to be able to um, customize the options for the portfolio page. You can choose um, the portfolio page here and that will just tell the theme which one that is. You choose the number of posts to display per page. Default is nine with three across. You choose whether to display the category navigation for the project types as well as um, the options for displaying the posts. So you've got the featured image aspect ratio, so that's square or landscape, we'll display a category and we'll display an excerpt. You can save those changes once you're done and you can also see 
um, you've got some options for the portfolio posts. So we're able to display the category and a featured image at the top. So if I was just um, to perhaps change that one to remove the featured image at the top, um, if we head back to all our portfolios, then we're gonna see um, now when we click onto a um, portfolio item, we haven't got that featured image at the top because we've got this nice big album art below. So that's all there is to it actually. Very, very simple to do. So just make sure you've got um, Jetpack set up as usual. Then you can add the content under portfolio here and add in any media, featured images and regular text that you want in there. Add a new page with the page template portfolio Jetpack and then head to WP Zoom theme options in order to set that up. That's all there is to it. If you have any queries, then head over to wpzoom.com and our support team will be more than happy to help. You'll find the rest of the video tutorials for setting up presents for the documentation. The link I mentioned is at the start of the video. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.